Hey everybody, welcome to Link's Awakening. Lose 32, and I do not remember starting this. No. Oh, whatever. Blues will do. Here we go. Uh, 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 this is, uh, football practice! What a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning? What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on Co... Co... Koholint Island. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful, okay? Well, Blues, you finally snapped out of it. My name's Terran. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? I think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. Come on, he looks like Mario and you know it. You got your shield back. Press the button and repel enemies with it. Hey, what are you doing in my chest? Where did you learn to do such a thing? Oh, good grief. That doesn't sound quite right. Hang on a second. No, that seems to be the right sound. Huh. Oh well. So this is one of the first Game Boy games I ever owned. The very first was a uh, Final Fantasy III. Eh. Hoot hoot! You're the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters started to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Ooh. My somewhat transparent sword. Must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. Let the adventure begin! As you can see, uh... They're dropping rupees in... Denominators of one. Every time. They do not drop more than one at a time. Sounds really kind of messed up here. Oh well, what can you do? And the big problem here is that, uh, well, money is kind of neat. What are you doing here? This is not your game. Out! Out! Away with you! Yeah, not gonna do it. Well, it seems that after you save, you will start at the last door you went through. I'm not really sure why that is, because I'm just a kid. Yep. Oh no! Ha! You missed! You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. Well, collecting them is alone isn't enough. You need to do a little more than that. But as I was saying, the fact that you can only collect these one at a time... It's not good. 
because you want eventually to get the bow. The bow in this game can only be gotten from a store. It costs 980 rupees. You top off at 999. little bastard. Look at him rubbing his hands together. And, of course, you need to get the shovel for 200. So, there's probably going to be a little off-screen grinding going on. But first... I'm a bit of a salty Sammy right now, I gotta say, because I just beat the, uh, yeah, shut up, I don't care. They mean this. Um, I had just beaten the mother from, uh, La Mulana, but I failed to find the way out as the place collapses around you. You have five minutes to find the way out, and I couldn't do it. So now I need to kill that bitch all over again. She was hard as hell! I can't even joke! I was lucky to have beaten her in the first place. Need to go back and do it again? You may wonder what I'm doing. You know, the owl said to go north into a forest, and here I am cutting grass. Well, I need money. As you can see, it takes a while to farm it. Now, for the most part, I'm going to be doing that off-screen. But I need the money now. So there will not be off-screening just yet. That comes later. for the moment. Oh, hi, Marin. Hi! Taryn went to the forest to look for toadstools, but I'd rather sing. Listen to this. It's called The Ballad of the Windfish. It seems to be totally absorbed in Marin's song and her ability to belch out musical notes. Uh, right in the feels. Love that song. Howdy. How about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you ten rupees. Alright, I know. I know how to fish. At least I think I do. Down, 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 down. Whoa! Damn it! Son of a bitch, that's not good at all. Yeah, 
I know. Give it here. I will. Oh, no, 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 no. Banana has a piece of heart, too. You get 20 rupees prize on top of that. Try again? Hell no. You have to have more passion. Live a little. Go to hell. I'd have more money if I hadn't, uh, screwed up that first one. But that's okay. I have enough money to do what I need. What I need to do is go into this shop and play the tr the trendy crane game. Trendy game. One play, ten rus. A and B buttons move the crane. The rest is just timing. Go over to the buttons and play. Good luck. Gee, I wonder which one I should go for. I think I might have screwed this up, actually. Yep. Wow, I'm terrible. Right, right. Try again. Can't believe I screwed that one up. Banish this thing where it will never be seen again. It does not belong here. You got a Yoshi doll! Recently he seems to be showing up in many games. Ah! Damn dogs. That's, that's what I think that is. It looks more like a fox, to be honest. Hi. Yep, those are my boys. I'm Papal. Pleased to meet y'all. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout. What? Why would you... Why would you tell me this? I... I... It, yeah, sure. Have a doll. Trade quest. But unlike usual Zelda trade quests, you need to do this. This isn't a matter of getting a secret item. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. And some new accessories would be nice. Oh, that ribbon! I need it! Will you trade it for my dog food? Sure. Lucky, thanks. Well, here's your dog food. You exchange a ribbon for dog food. It's full of juicy beef. Link, I don't think you're that desperate for a meal. <laughs> oh, 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 brave lad on your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious woods. Much of mystery you will find in this uncharted cold at the island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the boy, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you will find in this forest. The windfish is watching. I cannot bat the spears out of the air. Sad but true. Oh, 
For some reason, this emulator is playing the music, the uh, sound all wrong. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be lost thanks to me. <laughs> Curses, he's right. Oh boy. You've got a guardian acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. Yeah, this is something that did not catch on. There's also one for attack power. We'll undoubtedly find that too. Yeah. Arrgh. And that was it right there. You got 50 rupees. Very nice. It is very nice. Yeah, you can't get that just yet. But what has we here? You pick the toadstool. As you hold it over your head, for some reason, a mellow aroma floats into your nostrils. Why am I lifting it over my head in the first place? Just so danged happy to have found it. That's what I was looking for. There we go. Damn it all! Harumph. Yes, whenever you pick it up, it will tell you this, and it will play this music. As you can imagine, it gets irritating very quickly. Which I suspect is why they didn't keep it. Sleepy Toadstool it does. We'll mix it up something in a jiffy, we will. It's all ready, it is. Take care, as there's not much there. Why not try a bit in my hut? Good job! You sit on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest, pick some mushrooms, and I will make you more. Or you could just, you know, buy some. Find it. Yes, you can change those things into those bulgy eyed things. But I don't feel like doing that right now. The chances of me getting injured trying it is too high. Here we go again. Annoying as it is, it does work. All right, buddy. Hmm, 
Leslie's been a whoa. The last thing I remember was fighting in the juicy month. Juicy toadstool. Then I had to don the dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was a fun. I'm all tuckered out. I think I better set the spell before I head home. When I was a kid, I did not understand that turn of phrase. And I thought I was supposed to wait for him to cast a magic spell. I was seven, leave me alone. You've got the tail key. Now you can open the tail cave gate. Oh, take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now, the windfish is waiting. Oh. place around Shnau, and I, I will show it to you, even though you really don't need to see it. I'm not gonna actually look, look at it, but... It's here. And there's also... Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Colent. Do you really want to read this? Yes. <gasps> What's this? You can't read the tiny print without the aid of a magnifying glass. And you can also see that there's a book up there that I can't reach. Everything else here is just like... You know, warp holes, fun with bombs, use your shield like a pro... Yada yada yada. Silly junk like that. I know, it'll do some damage to take the path, yada yada yada. Ouch, you prick! And here we are, the tail cave. Dungeon numero uno. Excuse me. Save real quick. Here's the thing. If you beat this game without dying, you get a special cutscene. I don't want to die. So I'm going to be saving like that most of the, uh, most of the time. In order to do it otherwise, you need to push all the buttons and start select. And you're more likely to wind up accidentally resetting the game than you are going to... Uh, You've got the compass. Now you can see where the chest and nightmare are hidden. This compass is a new feature. A tone will tell if a key is in the room when you enter. So yeah, this is where they first introduced that, that musical tone. Basically, this is tutorial cavern here. Though there is something here that you're not going to be able to get your first get the first time you come in. You're going to have to come back later. And I'll show it to you. There. It's right there. Yay! 20 rupees! Joy! Small key. Did you see Link just moonwalk just then? I don't know how to get him to do it though. There he goes. This time, bat. But we 
we will meet again. Yep, it's going to play that tone every time. stone beak. Let's find the owl statue that belongs to it. Gee, could it be this one here? Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. Okie dokie. For some reason it played the, um, incorrect noise, but it was clearly done properly, otherwise they wouldn't have died. You got a piece of power! You can feel the energy flowing through you. That's the result of power, kids. Makes you hit like a Mack truck. Ow! Uh-oh. doing here? How many times am I going to have to deal with things that should not be here? You've got the rock's feather! It feels like your body is a lot lighter. Now we can jump. And as you might expect, you can jump on the Goombas. Ouch! And every time you do, they will spit up a heart. Guaranteed. Turn aside the sp Wait, you said that already. If there is a door that you can't open, move a stone block. Not the most subtle clue. Down a pit. It's like you just get tapped by him by Link now, he's you're gonna go flying. not good at all. Why is that there? Oops. Who went and filled these, this place with death? up here. Ow. Yay, the nightmare's key. 
nightmare. Ominous foreshadowing. Something is different. go and fight the boss with this little health. Oh god. I'm going to die. Well. Anyway. It's good enough place to stop as any, uh... I'll get back to where I was, and yeah. I am the Blues 32. This is the Legend of Zelda uh, Link's Awakening. TTFN. Ta-ta for now. What a bad ending.